morning, good morning. It's Jilly Q from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm not actually pouring for you today. I'm doing, uh, well, this will be my part one of my um, glitter painting. It's, um, it's a kind of, I'm trying to get a look that I've seen on the Z Gallery art, like it's very blingy art. So I know that I have a granddaughter that would absolutely love this kind of art. So I'm going to surprise her if, if it all comes out pretty well. I'm going to try using the uh, pre-made pouring paints, the Montmartre pre-made pouring paints as my base colours. So I'll, do the, I'll put down my colours first and then I'll um, move on to the glitter afterwards so I'm just looking for a very yeah a kind of two kind of size uh, sponge spongy uh, sponge brushes so I, I do like to well for what I'm doing now I'm going to slightly wet them down um, and I'm going to just use my Montmartre pouring paint directly from the bottle and so this is kind of going to be my um, and well it's not an undercoat because it's part of the whole thing look that I'm going to try to achieve so but it's nice and easy to use the oops pouring paints I haven't got a well I, ha I wouldn't actually mix paints for this type of um, work I suppose I suppose actually I could do a pour over on the canvas and then embellish it with the bling blingy thing so can never have too much bling in my opinion in my opinion but um so i'm just oh yeah this is going to be very blingy so i'm, I'm waiting till i get some uh, real sort of heavy glitter glass uh the capriole shabby chic is uh, trying to obtain some they have all the glitters in the colors which are lovely but I'd like to have a go with the gl gl glitter glass glitter glass really um, really uh, losing track of my words here okay this is the lovely lovely uh, Montmartre rose gold so I'm gonna oh it's not really doing much over this white but that's okay because I wanted the white to come through as well whoops so yeah it's a little bit different than a pour isn't it but it's nice to do something different I think I have my brushes are too wet I like to just have them slightly damp but I think I overdid it as you do that's okay I think I'll have to allow my white to dry before I go back over this because I'm losing a bit of the color here a lot of the color here actually so I might have to let it dry for a little while we'll see grab another brush and um, try some of the bronze oh okay haven't opened this yet so that's why it's not coming out I might pour this it's all right because I'm using the brush to spread it so it doesn't really oh that's oh that is sheeny shiny that's beautiful it's probably nice that it goes lighter at the bottom so I just want to do these probably gonna to have to go over this with another coat of all of the colors because they're not dry they're not sort of acting really intense as I would have hoped but remember I'm gonna put glitter on so I don't know what I'm worried about it's just giving me 
the basics under there to work with. So now for my one of my favourites. Is, this is such a oh, gorgeous, gorgeous gold. Oh, look at that. So, as if it's not going to be blingy enough, it's going to be more than blingy, blingy bling. So, I'm kind of using the same brush that I did the bronze, so it's giving that two tone effect in it. Yeah. So remember this is all going to dry and it's going to have yeah lots of sort of layering is going to go on this with the different things that I'm intending to do with it so that will kind of be part one it's just the different layers like that um, and then I may go back over them with the same colors again but I think if I'm going to load them with glitter it doesn't really matter just giving me a base. Okay, that'll be part one then. Yeah, they're not as intense as I'd hoped for, but <laughs> with the glitter I'm going to put on there, it'll certainly, um, certainly liven it all up. Okay, I'm going to do the next layer while this is all wet still wet obviously um so i'm gonna just layer first layer of glitters on it see what i come out with um i'm gonna use the glit uh, what's it called glitter shaker so these are glitters that i've already had so i'm gonna layer the glitter Mm. so yeah if you look up if you're not familiar with z gallery art it's uh, the gallery art it's quite expensive and um it's very blingy so i just wanted to see if i could create something similar but um, I did one the other day in just mostly just the um, with the glue and the glitter so this is just another way of doing it with painting this particular way so I'm just gonna try this is a lovely color what's this one glitter shaker it hasn't actually got the color written on it okay but it looks like the um, bronze color so I'm going with it so I thought I'd do it while it's wet. See what see what we come up with. Um, I haven't actually got one that colour. Got a bit more gold and then different gold. So let's see what this comes up with. Oh yeah, baby. That's nice. What I use, what I like to do is turn the pee pads up so it's the uh, the plasticky side. So any glitter that you tap off will go onto your plastic, and then you can uh, save it and put it back in the con in a container. So that's that one. Uh, I might put a bit more of the bronze in here. So I'm just hoping that it will stick to the paint. Um, if not, I'll let this dry and then I'll put glue over the whole lot, the clear glue, and I will go back over with the shaker, or with the glitter. So, glittering, glittering, actually. Oh, I haven't got my light. I should have my overhead lights on and then you would see all the glistening. So I'm going to leave that like that. If that dries well, then I will leave it as it is because I know my granddaughter, she, 16 year old, would really like this glittery little number. 
so I will um, see what she thinks of it and hopefully it dries nice and I think to get everything to stick I would maybe I'm gonna let I'm not gonna tip, tip it upside down now because the paint will actually pull that glitter to it as it dries so um, yeah it's kind of a bit of a blingy bling so if people might like you might like to give this a go it's just something a little bit different so probably next time I would definitely try to do those paints more intense underneath um, I mean if you obviously like something a bit more softer looking then that's the way to go uh, yeah yeah let me know what you think guys bit of glitter bit of glitter doesn't harm anyone does it look at that so I'm just gonna let it dry I'll put some photographs up uh, if I rework it um, and go back over it with more glitter I will definitely um, add to this video so bye for now thanks for joining me Hey guys, I'm back to this blingy, blingy blockbuster, should I call it, here. Um, I did the first part of it, as you've seen, and I painted it and I glittered it a bit with in the glitter. I put some of these, where are they? Some of these that I found, some little like stars, just through the centre. Um, they haven't stuck really well but I'm going to bling it up a bit more what I'm gonna try is is another kind of test just with this soft little shot cup I'm gonna put some of my pouring medium I just need a little bit of water now I've swapped all my studio around so I didn't put a video I was gonna put a video a short video showing you what I did but I didn't um, but I may may do today <laughs> see if I get time so it's just that little bit of water I just find that I don't get it react uh, cracking or anything this is the fusion pouring resin I know some people say oh you can't add water to resin but this is obviously a oh it's obviously a, a water-based one it's a it's completely different than the actual port two pack I believe so this one you can add water to it's coming out really slowly what's going on so it's been like more more than 24 hours since I did this little piece on here so I'm going to just try this with the pouring resin um, seeing if I can add bling and it's sticking this particular pouring resin I don't know yeah I obviously need to make a bigger better hole in the top so where's my oh you know when you change your place around well I suppose it's the same when you change things in your home I just can't find anything now and I had everything in my art studio uh, you know in my head where everything was and then we've tried to tidy it up a bit and put extra shelving so now I'm just having to renegotiate where everything is again and put that in my memory bank which doesn't seem to be too good of a, a banking constitution for holding memories at the moment it's just just um, going like a baby brain must happen with age but anyway here we go so I'll just put the pouring resin so I'm just hoping this works but this is a 60 by 30 canvas so and it's turned out glittery shimmery shiny it's kind of you know a, a take off of the Z gallery art which is really quite expensive art but very glittery and so just just my little version I'm just gonna pour I'll make a little lip in my little soft cup here oh I keep thinking oh maybe I've not oh no I forgot what I was going to add too so for even more bling even more bling I'm going to add the dragonfly glaze just a few drops into the pouring resin to see if I can get 
even more bling on the bling so it's bling on bling so I'll just do that sort of squeeze and give it a good stir through kind of really does need a good stir but you can then see the the little dragonfly glaze is oh look at look at that sheeny shiny so it's kind of a test in this middle piece and that if I get good results and then I feel you know more confident to doing it on a bigger better canvas that's you know can sell that this one I'm for my granddaughter so so I've put that in the pouring resin so I did use this the other week in the pouring resin to coat one of my paintings with the wipe on method and oh it really did uh, have fantastic results so I'm just hoping hope and praying let's um, see how we go with this so this is just pouring it on hopefully oh. pour in the resin where I'm going to add bling to so hope the, this will dry clear so I'm just hoping to put bling on bling so just adding a bit more bling where I'm pouring this resin so what the, the idea is that the glitter will stick and it, I mean it looks a bit odd at the moment but we have to see it when it's dry so I will without further ado do do I will add some more of this kind of like a bronze effect is it bronze or copper bronze I suppose so I'll pour a bit more of that on see how we go See, these will dry like a resin with the lumpy sort of, you know, but that's okay because I wanted to add some kind of, um, you know, it's adding a different medium to it and hopefully it's going to look, um, it'll look good. Oh, I'm trying to open my, I'm trying to pull my glitter thing off and it. Just sprinkling some of these stars down the centre because I know my granddaughter will like these. So I'm just sprinkling them where I've already put that resin so they'll just stick in the resin. Oops, oh, a bit of a So fingers crossed that this will work. So hopefully that resin will dry. I'm hoping that it okay, a bit more glitter is required. Where's my bit of goldy stuff? Some I'm waiting on more glitter to come from the online Capriol Shabby Chic, so I'm so excited. Oh, that's a bit it's a bit OTT -O but I'm just putting it where I've put that resin again adding a little bit more kind of can never have too much bling like I said if you go over to Z gallery art which is obviously a shop in the America because we don't have that here in Australia um, Z gallery not that I know of but it didn't come up when I googled it you know our Google's tells you everything okay so these little containers are great for keeping your leftover glitter I'm gonna just add a bit more of that bronzy in there okay I will put the photos on at the end when it's dry and of course they will be on my Facebook page so I'm just hoping that that add some oh actually maybe I could run it a little bit oh I hope I'm doing the right thing here go back the other way can you see the sparkles oh 
it's kind of looking like molten glitter going through it so I hope it gives it a good look it's just another little thing to try come back again I'm gonna leave it like that okay that's it for today so look out for the photos at the end and let's hope we've got a you know really good reaction to this I haven't got Oh my gosh, okay, there you go. Can you see the blingy blingy thing? Just trying to get to show how blingy it is in there. But yeah, the resin will dry clear, so give it some time. Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs>